Welcome back, Cyber Traders. This is Fausto from Cyber Trading. What I want to show you right now is how orders get executed, and we're looking at um, American Airlines. And you'll notice right here, American Airlines has been having a tough time getting past $11 a share. And if you look here on the sell side, you're coming up to some big sellers, 46,000 shares, 14 orders. And what I want you to do is look here in the time and sales on the right. And what you'll see here is basically, is that guy getting executed? Because the thing is this, for the stock to go past this problem it's been having to get past 11, you know, 11, you know, 04, it's because you have a 45,000 share seller, a 63,000 share seller at 1105, a 14,000 share. You have a lot of big block orders out there being sold, which we call here iceberg orders. But the goal is, can we break through it? Well, there's only one way to find out. Someone has to buy it from him or they have to cancel. So look here on the right-hand side, which is called the time and sales window, and look and see if that number is dropping, which means these orders will come printing here on time and sales. Now, if you notice, we're getting orders that are going between 11.01 and 11.02. And that number, obviously, is, you know, orders are dropping. You can see a couple of trades are going off over here. And we just want to watch it for about a minute or so. And seeing if this guy is going to kind of let it go finally. And if he does, it's gonna it's it's gonna go to the next guy, which is at 1104, 1105, which is its major, major resistance levels. That is what explains why the stock since eight o'clock this morning until was it two o'clock this afternoon, it just kept having a tough time breaking it. Not because American Airlines does not like you know, eleven dollars and two cents, it's because these big iceberg orders are out there preventing it from going higher. So as you're watching, order is dropping. Now you're getting eight orders. If I uncheck this box, you could see there's a 36,000 share seller at 1102. 39, 800, 500. Oh, it looks like the guy got executed. Oh, look at that. He's gone. He got executed. You see that right there? Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit closer here on this chart and see what's happening. Now we're going to the next seller. You don't have too many shares at 11.03, but now we have 11.04, 11.05. So what you're witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, is sellers out there selling stock and getting executed. So when you sit back and you're trying to figure out and trying to watch, I'm like, I don't understand. How are these stocks going up and down the way they do? Well, the way they do that is these people getting executed. People selling it to them and also people buying it from them. It takes two to tango. As we're watching it, you could see that a couple of orders did come pop over here. But the key thing here is that big, big order got executed. And with that big order getting executed, now it's starting to kind of like testing that resistance. But there's one little problem if you notice. As much as we executed that seller there, we still got the other big sellers here. So at one moment, you're looking at resistance, you're sitting there, oh, it's finally going to break it. You saw a big seller out there and he got executed, but it wasn't just him. There were more sellers out there, bigger ones like this one down here for 64,000 shares. So just when you think you're looking at a stock and thinking, oh, this is the chance, it's finally going to break it, it's finally going to get through, all of a sudden... Now the stock is dropping on you. So it is very important that when you're trading in today's volatile markets, fellow traders, you have to know where the big block orders are. And by seeing these big iceberg orders out there that make up these support and resistance is going to distinguish the dip of, of, and determine what is going to be a support level and what's going to be a resistance level. So to see more videos of orders getting executed and seeing iceberg orders like this, just click on this like button, ladies and gentlemen, and then just click... Um, just follow us and you'll be getting more alerts. I'm going to show you more examples of how to use level three in today's volatile markets. Thanks for watching and happy trading.